Thank you, Mr. Chair. This is actually the first request for the right of reply to what the United States just said. Mr. Chair, the United States does not get to pretend that it stands with the Palestinian civilians in Gaza. It does not get to pretend this when the United States has just approved an additional $14.5 billion military aid package to Israel as Israel pummels Palestinian civilians to the ground, most of them refugees and children. The U.S. is also planning to send $320 million in precision bombs to Israel, according to the Wall Street Journal. Can the United States explain how this is in line with any of its obligations under international humanitarian law and human rights law? let alone its commitments under the political declaration on, the explosive, on explosive weapons in populated areas. It is unsurprising that the stock prices of weapons manufacturers have skyrocketed over the recent period and continue to rise as Israel bombards Gaza. For example, the market value of the biggest U.S. weapons manufacturers increased by over $23 billion after the 7th of October. And it is undeniable that the United States profits from war Throughout its entire history, there are only 15 years in which the United States has not been at war with another country. Let that sink in. 15 years only in the United States' entire history. But no one, neither Israel, nor the United States, nor arms, nor arms manufacturers should be allowed to profit from the killing or maiming of Palestinian civilians. So no, you do not get to stay, you stand with Palestinian civilians until you stop sending arms to Israel as it commits genocide. Thank you.